everyone, Emily here today. Today, I want to show you how to do your very own jungle. So it's like a rainforest, well, it's a rainforest jungle. I'm doing it for a lecturer and anyone that wants to do it. I want to base it on this artist, and it's a really famous artist called Henri Rousseau. So you could say Henri Rousseau, but in French it's like Henri. So Henri Rousseau, he was French. He was born 1844 and he died 1910, which is a long time ago now. So he was a French painter and he loved painting all of the things to do with the jungle, rainforests. He never even went to a rainforest before or a jungle. He just kind of painted from his mind. So, I wanted to show you a couple of pictures that he's done. So, let's have a look. So this one, this one's kind of cool. It's a tiger eating an animal. And can you see the bananas on the banana tree? It's really, really cool, isn't it? This is him, just painting. Obviously that's a painting of him. <laughs> this one's a famous one, it's called Surprise which I'm guessing you can tell why it's called surprise because the tiger's lurking in the undergrowth and it's going to come out and it's going to it's going to try and eat something so I'll just show you one more and then we'll start because it's really nice to have a look at his type of work this one's pretty cool because most of his work's quite green because if you think about a rainforest or a um rainforest or a jungle <laughs> you know that it's kind of most of it's green so we're going to do create our own what I thought would be cool is we'll create our own jungle or rainforest and then on my other videos we can add the animals we could literally do the rainforest and then you can look for the other video and draw the monkey inside so first thing I think we need to do is you're going to do one two three so pencil paper do it landscape might be quite cool it's very um it's very uh cloudy today so you might see the light changing one two so this looks like grass but it's going to be the start of our leaves and it's really cool because it's going to frame around the picture which will look really nice so here we're going to do this shapes like that around the leaf so just think, you know those lovely squidgy banana sweets that you can get? Just think of that. Then here, we can do it more rounded. Just think about an oval. So it's two big ovals. Now, this is our guideline, because after this, we're going to do that. We're going to go round. We're going to go round the banana, and you're going to do like V's. 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 You can do them however you like. And then you go around again. You can go like that. So you're copying the outline of the leaf and you're going to rub out all the other bits you don't need. I'll show you in a moment. So you're going to follow the banana shape. Keep doing the. Go round. Can you see where you're going to rub out? You're going to basically rub out whatever's in those V's. So I'll do it for here, just so you can see. Round, V, round, V. So you copy, you're basically going over the line already and doing V's. That way you get a really cool tropical leaf. It looks really, really awesome. If you want, you can add the veins in, but I probably wouldn't. Then here, you can create a different type of leaf. It's like a tropical, awesome leaf. So you can go round, and then you can go in, out again. Round, in, out again. So look what I'm doing. I'm going around and going down, U-shape, back. So you're creating this really awesome leaf. You can do any type of shape with this leaf, but it creates a really cool kind of outline. Do the same again. These are like, um, my mum's got them in her house. I can't think what they're called, but they're really awesome. 
Okay, so something like that is fine. And then you get your rubber. We don't, I don't really need to show you that much, but you're gonna rub out whatever's inside those shapes that you've done. So if you've done a V, you're gonna rub out these bits because then it looks more like the leaf. The leaf of joy. Yeah, it looks cool. So I would say these leaves are my favorite. Okay. Okay. Right, let's have a little looky. I don't know why I sing. I think it helps me draw. <laughs> okay. Once you've done that, we're gonna. This is like the frame of the picture, and then we want to do up here. We're gonna do loads of leaves. So what we could do is eye shape. You know, like an eye. That's what the leaf's gonna be like, because it's in the trees. So we can do loads, loads of leaf shapes, and it doesn't matter. If you do them a bit messy, just like that. It's to make it look like there's a tree. I'm gonna keep treading on my pastel that I've dropped. I'm gonna do some here. So it's just leaves of a tree and it gives the impression that you've got a real big tree in the distance, in the background, like over here. Right, so there's your leaves, your leaves, <laughs> then you can do vines. The vines are going to be what the monkey can hang on. So you're just going to do a little line, little line. It's quite nice to mix them up and just join them up like that. And then maybe just one here. Like that. So think about vines crossing the trees. You could do some more vines as well. You could do a twirly vine that goes down. If you can't do that, just think about lines and then whoop and then go down. You don't need to do this, it's just something else to add if you like because there's loads of vines in the jungle. Right, then you want to do a horizon line. You don't have to do the horizon line, but we're going to do it lightly because then you can put your monkey in there or whatever you want to put. You can even put a badger if you want in your rainforest, it's up to you. Toucan, the toucan would be amazing. What you might want to do is we could have like um, a branch coming out. So we could just touch a bit there, add a little branch and go back to about in there. So that's inside the tree. You could have a snake curled around the tree. You could have a toucan sitting there. You could have a bigger thing. This might not want to be the horizon line you could have this as a big branch and something sitting on it that'd be pretty cool you could even do a tiger or a cheetah i think i've done yeah i want to do some grass because in the jungle there is lots of grass so think about it's almost like swords so loads of grass we could do grass in between now in a rainforest it's very very wet because it rains a lot and that's why it's called a rainforest so Things grow super super fast because the rain and then it's sunny and it's like mm. everything grows like mega big so we can do some other little flowers like exotic flowers would be cool so maybe you could just think up a really weird exotic flower so I'm drawing this strange I mean it looks quite nice I just got a daffodil and then you could make it into a weird flower you could make a pizza flower or what other flower could you do? You could do like curly whirlies. Oh, you could do like, <laughs> you could do like, you know, um, I've forgotten what everything's called today. A, um, a lolly that you get on the stick, the twirly whirly lolly thing that you get in the fair. And then you want to do just some leaves here and there. You could do some grass there. You want to leave that space free to draw the animal if you've got the animal in the other video like you could do any animal you like there I want to kind of draw a tree so I'm just gonna do a little line and then maybe just like a palm tree I always look at palm trees as like a hand because that could be the trunk and then you've got 
the bits coming out. So if you really wanted to, you could put your hand on the page. Mine's a bit too big, but you could draw around. But then when you get to there, I'll show you actually on a piece of paper. You could do this as a separate project if you like. So, do you know what? I'll have to go. Oh, can you see? Right, okay. So that would be my wrist. And then you're gonna go, so it's pointy when you get to the, Woo! Right, so that looks like a strange hand at the moment. But what you could do with that then, is know that there's your there's your trunk and then you've got one two three four five so that becomes a tree now does that make sense to you so you could have your hands flat out like that when you do it because i think mine were more like that so you could have that and just go around it just maybe put a uh, practice because it's quite fun to do trees like that and then once you've done your jungle you could put anything in there, like I said, snake, whatever you like. Now, I'm going to colour the jungle, but I don't want to, don't want to colour everything. I just want to colour, I'm going to get like a dark green and a light green of oil pastel. And what I want to do is, you want it bright, the jungle. Like you don't want a, a jungle that doesn't look bright. You want something that looks like, wow. So I am going around really thick. Can you see the thick line? And you know what? I'm going to do another green for the other leaf. And then I can do it light green for this one. The nice thing about this is Outlining it all makes it stand out really awesomely. Okay, so there's my leaf. That didn't take me long, did it? But you take your time. Then I'm gonna get my one little finger, but I'm gonna change my finger because I've been rubbing out for a project today and it, my fingers hurt. So what you're doing is you're smudging it all. And that's awesome because it covers all of the leaf, but you don't need to color it all in because your fingers smudging across. If that's too hard to do, you're quite welcome to outline it with a dark green and color it in with a light green. Um, it's quite nice to do different greens, if I'm honest with you. Let's try it here so you can see. So it needs to be quite thick when you do the line, remember? If you don't have oil pastel, chalk is perfect. It's just I find chalk isn't maybe as colourful as the um, oil pastel because it can get a bit, a bit messy. Or paint, paint is just as good, totally paint. You could do um, a dark green line around them and then get a lighter green and fill inside. So you could do this with anything. Okay, then light green, oil pastel. I'm doing this like pretty messy but only because it's warm in here so I can smudge right one little finger can you see that the green is slightly different from those so it kind of looks quite cool because think about how many greens are in the world if you look outside your window and there's a tree just on that one tree, there's probably about seven or oh, lots, I should imagine more than seven different greens. Right, guys, I've got another different green, but if you haven't got another different green, just choose one of the ones you like. I'm gonna go around all of my leaves. I don't wanna do them with the same green. So I'm gonna do them with the light one, and the other one that I found. So all I'm doing, the small ones, I end up colouring in by accident. But you want to go round the out, right, right, round the edges of it. And it's pretty quick. Like obviously you're going to take your time, and 
take some care on it but just so I can show you roughly how it's going to look doing it fast for you fast away <laughs> I feel like my finger ends up feeling like it's falling off it isn't but it feels like it is right and then what shall we do for the grass I reckon go around the grass and you don't have to do <clears throat> all the colours like any bits of grass like that I might even just I like the vines to be light green and the vines can have um, I literally can't think of my word today. The vines can have uh, leaves on there. The vines can completely have the leaves, so that'd be nice. So I'm just colouring all the grasses in. You want to make sure every time you colour, because I've got a black, because I've got a black um, line because of the pen I've used obviously I don't need to outline as much but you might want to outline it a lot so before you color in it anything get the pastel and just draw around it so it's outlined so say this I didn't have an outline it would just look weird so I could outline it with dark green and then just smudge and it just looks more just looks more interesting no. there we are Quite a chunky monkey thing. <laughs> so everything's pretty much green at the moment, which is fine. And then you can have a little brown. It's quite a small wire one, but you might want to outline. <laughs> Just outline it all. Oh, it's like a chocolate curly whirly, yummy. Then because yellow and red looks awesome, obviously if you put an animal in there, leave some room. But if the animal is like a different colour, then it will look great against all the green. But I'm going to just colour this exotic flower. So this is a great chance for you to do colours, basically. Bright colours. So Electra, how are you getting on? And how's everyone else getting on? Feel free to like, like share and subscribe. And make sure you tell all your friends. Be nice to see who can create an awesome rainforest. There we are, that's a pink one, but then it outlines. Da, 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 da. Got a red bit there. Oh. Now, what you could do then is because this is oil, if you're doing oil, you can then do a water wash of green, which is what I'm going to do now. So I'm just going to grab the paint. So water wash is make a green paint, very watery, and you just fill in the white bits. It's okay if you go over a little bit of the oil, because oil is water resistant, which means it doesn't smudge. You can't do this with chalk. Um, you could still do the water wash, but you'd have to be super careful not to touch the um the chalk so if you can do oil pastel awesome if not maybe color the background in chalk if you like i'm going to just do all this green because it's going to be the distance because when i go to draw my monkey if i decide to do a monkey or whatever animal i want then i can draw over the green so I can just literally draw the monkey on top of the green when it's dry and then it looks like it's deep in the jungle because if you leave white gaps it doesn't quite look right does it but you want watery so just think water wash is watery paint and you can literally go over some of the oil pastel it's actually quite fun to do it's a bit like going over wax if you've ever done batik. So I'm just going to quickly go over so you can see what I'm doing. It's quite yellow in this picture. <laughs> Looks like a yellow rainforest. So yellow is better than a dark, you don't really want a dark green, but I've got a dark green here that I'm just going to, just did a bit of green with white 
just to make it look a bit different and I'm going to put water to it kind of dripping but I quite like that look okay Whoa. okay so that is my rainforest slash jungle now in a rainforest you've got beautiful exotic flowers so you could add a lot of flowers you could even do a separate flower on a piece of paper cut it out stick them directly onto so you could have big flowers there that would look awesome um and then once it's dry we can draw on top the monkey or do it on a separate piece of paper cut the monkey out stick it on but i would wait till it's dry and then i'd have a go at drawing on top because the monkey's probably going to be black brown maybe white you can paint on top of the monkey so yeah have fun let me know what you do and let me know how you get on lots of love mm -hmm.